we will be discussing about the image based discussion on microbiology, which will be relevant to the PG medical entrance as well as for the second year MBBS students. In general microbiology, they can ask various MCQs like identify the images of various eminent microbiologists. Okay. So, this uh, particular figure is Antony van Leeuwenhoek. Can you tell me the discovery of this, uh, of this uh, particular eminent microbiologist? He has a uh, discovered microscope, simple microscope. Louis Passer. Next one is Robert Koch, and uh, last one is Paul Elrich. Of course, you will be knowing the various uh, contribution of each of them. I am not going to uh, go into the detail of this. Next is the differences between a gram positive and a gram negative bacterial cell wall especially the peptidoglycan. When you look at to the peptidoglycan layer, the peptidoglycan layer of gram positive cell wall is composed of alternate NAG and NAM molecules. NAG is N acetyl glucosamine, NAM is N acetyl muramic acid. So, even gram positive or, or gram negative cell wall both the peptidoglycan layer is, is uh, composed of multiple layers and each layer will have alternate NAM and NAG uh, molecule. The difference is from each NAM molecule, from each NAM uh, molecule in gram positive there arises a tetrapeptide side chain, there arises a tetrapeptide uh, side chain and both the tetrapeptide side chains are joined together by a pentaglycine bridge by a pentaglycine bridge and the tetrapeptide side chain of gram positive cell wall the sequence is l alanine d glutamine l isine and d alanine the difference is in gram negative so this is gram positive uh, cell wall in gram negative cell wall from NAM molecules there are tetrapeptide side chain will be there, but the difference is at the third position instead of lysine you have mesodiamino pimatic acid, pimatic acid. So, this is the difference one difference. Second difference is both the tetrapeptides are directly linked to each other that is there is no pent, uh, penta glycine bridge. Here both the uh, tetrapeptides are joined by a penta glycine bridge. Here there is no penta glycine bridge there is directly both the tetrapeptides are joined to each other. So, these are the main difference between gram positive peptidoglycan and gram negative uh, uh, peptidoglycan. Coming to the important identifying uh, uh, culture medium, this is the peptone water broth first one, peptone water broth which is used as a which type of medium, basal medium. The second one is a nutrient agar, this is also a basal medium, this is blood agar and this is chocolate agar chocolate agar is heated blood agar where the blood is poured at 70 to 75 degree uh, centigrade. The blood is poured at this at this temperature to the medium uh, that is why the blood is lysed and chocolate agar is formed. So, these are other selective medium this is LJ medium Lowenstein Jensen medium and this is TCBS agar TC L, uh, LJ medium is used for mycobacterium. Uh, tuberculosis, TCBS agar is used for Vibrio cholera and these two are blood culture bottles, blood culture bottles 
composed of this is a biphasic medium i mean uh, this is a monophasic medium whereas this one is a biphasic medium monophasic medium is composed of brain heart infusion broth whereas biphasic medium is composed of brain heart infusion agar and broth both okay so blood culture bottle this is used for culture of blood sample this is antibiotic susceptibility test this medium is called as muller hintanagar mha muller hintanagar and this uh, particular uh, method is called as disc diffusion test kirby bowers kirby bowers disc diffusion test and in this test they say that if you will be doing first you will be doing a long culture of the organism the organism is you have to do a lawn culture or the carpet culture of the organism you, you, you have to do over the culture medium after that you have to place the disc if there is growth surrounding the disc then this is considered as resistant if there is no bacterial growth uh, 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 surrounding the disc this is considered as organism is sensitive to the antibiotic and this is a higher up, uh, i mean uh, this is a modern variety of antimicrobial susceptibility test which is called as e test this is also a type of antimicrobial susceptibility test called as e test and e test is used for calculating the mic mic of mic is a minimum inhibitory uh, concentration so mic of the uh, particular antibiotic is uh, is calculated by e test e the full form of e is epsilon meter test okay it works on the principle of both diffusion and dilution whereas here only diffusion uh, principle is used whereas here both diffusion and uh, dilution principle is used so let us now concentrate on images of systematic bacteriology so coming to the images of staphylococcus aureus staphylococcus aureus is catalase uh, positive catalase uh, uh, positive means when you add 3% hydrogen uh, peroxide bubbles will appear then it is considered as catalase uh, positive gram stain gram positive cocci in cluster nutrient agar staph aureus uh, produces golden yellow colonies golden yellow colonies are made of beta carotene blood agar staph aureus uh, produces pin head colony with what kind of human hemolysis narrow hemolysis narrow zone of beta hemolysis beta or complete hemolysis this is mannitol salt agar this is a selective medium of staph aureus selective medium of staph aureus coagulase test tube coagulase test this is they say that the tube coagulase test if it is positive then the clot will be formed clot will be formed if it is negative then the medium looks i mean it will be turbid but there is no clot uh, formation if the tube coagulase if it is uh, uh, positive then on tilting there will be a clot formation example the tube coagulase and slide coagulase both are positive for staph aureus staph hyacus and staph intermediate 
there is tube coagulase is negative, slide coagulase is positive. Example is Staphylococcus lugdunensis. Lugdunensis. Slide coagulase is negative, tube coagulase is positive. Example Staphylococcus clefairy. Clefairy. Okay. This is a catalyst is again it is a repeat slide, it is a catalyst is which we have already discussed. Okay. So, in general we will uh, summarize all the figures of Staphylococcus aureus. So, the figures are gram positive cocci in cluster. nutrient agar golden yellow uh, colony, blood agar pinhead colony with beta hemolysis narrow zone, manitol salt agar and this is tube coagulase uh, positive and yes, the, uh, this is the figure of slide coagulase. So, slide coagulase is if it is a uh, positive then clumps will be produced and slide coagulase I hope you know it is due to clumping factor, there is tube coagulase is due to coagulase enzyme. Okay. So, this in this figure catalase is a positive, tube coagulase is negative, this is a novobiosin disc and the, in this uh, figure it is shown that this organism is resistant to novobiosin. This is uh, typically it is a case of Staphylococcus saprophyticus which is resistant to novobiosin and it is a coagulase negative stuff that, uh, that is a tube coagulase is negative. Coming to the figures of streptococcus. Streptococcus can produce various clinical manifestation like impetigo and erysipelas. Erysipelas will have a pudy orange skin mainly on the malar area. Erysipelas is a variety of is a variant of cellulitis. Impetigo is characterized by honey color crust. Okay. This is necrotizing fasciitis, necrotizing fasciitis and streptococcus will be catalyst negative all the streptococci will be catalyst negative. Coming to streptococcus pyogenes gram stain will be gram positive cocci in chain. I am I have also kept the staphylococcus gram stain so that you can easily differentiate. Staph will be gram positive cocci in cluster where a strat will be gram positive cocci in chain. So, that is how the pictures will be differentiated. Similarly, Streptococcus uh, pyogenes blood agar pinpoint colony surrounded by wide beta hemolysis. This is this has to be differentiated from that of staph aureus, which is pin head colony surrounded by narrow hemolysis. Narrow hemolysis. And group B streptococcus will produce a positive CAMP test. Uh, that is in a blood agar plate center you streak staph aureus streak line and perpendicular to that you streak group B streptococcus. Both staph aureus and group B streptococcus are beta hemolytic you will have a yellowish zone of discoloration on both the streak line, but the difference is the group B streptococcus will produce CAMP factor 
this cam factor will be will be produced by group streptococcus and this will synergistically enhance the hemolysis at the junction of staph aureus group b streptococcus will produce cam factor that will synergistically enhance the hemolysis at the junction of staph aureus so this is called as a positive cam test and this is done for group b streptococcus a uh, coming to the features of enterococcus enterococcus is gram positive cocci in pair spectacle eye appearance spectacle eye appearance blood agar you will have non hemolytic colon non hemolytic uh, colon and here you have a look this is a positive bile escoline hydrolysis test and this will be the uh, this is a negative control so positive bile escoline hydrolysis test is a feature of enterococcus okay viridian streptococcus will be alpha hemolytic green hemolysis and of course gram positive cocci in long chain this has to be differentiated from pneumococcus pneumococcus gram stain will be gram positive cocci in pair lanceolate shaped like this lanceolate shaped or flame shaped surrounded by a capsule surrounded by a capsule and on blood agar alpha hemolytic colony but the colonies are bigger in size having a dimple it's called as drossman shaped or carem coin colon carem coin a uh, colony and on chocolate agar and uh, pneumococcus will produce bleaching effect bleaching effect on chocolate agar so this is drossman shaped uh, 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 colony or carem coin uh, colony and this is the bleaching effect of pneumococcus on chocolate agar of course pneumococcus will be soluble in bile that is bile will become clear when you inoculate with uh, pneumococcus in contrast to viridens where the bile will be turbid that is insoluble when you keep a optochin disc at the center you will have a big zone of sensitivity why because pneumococcus is sensitive to optochin okay then coming to nigeria meningitis gram negative cocci in pair lens shaped lens shaped or half moon shaped nigeria gonori gram negative cocci in pair kidney shaped of course intracellular both are intracellular both are intracellular and the previous one meningococcus is capsulated gonococcus is non capsulated corine bacterium this is having a so corine bacterium broadly two type corine bacterium diphtheri and others are called as diphtheroids diphtheri will have a chinese letter arrangement having metachromatic granule so this uh, actually this picture is albert stein picture then do albert stein metachromatic granules will appear as bluish black metachromatic granule and green bacilli green bacilli 
and they are arranged in Chinese letter or cuneiform arrangement. Cuneiform arrangement. In contrast, diphtheroids they are palisade or parallel to each other. Palisade in arrangement. Of course, this is a gram stain. These are gram positive bacilli in palisade arrangement. This is lobeless serum slope. It is enriched medium for corynebacterium diphtheri. And this is the selective medium for corynebacterium diphtheri that is potassium telluride agar where corynebacterium diphtheri produces black colony. And these are the manifestation, membrane over the tonsil, pseudomembrane over the tonsil and this is the complication seen in uh, uh, diphtheria called as bull neck, bull neck is neck edema plus tonsillar swelling. neck edema plus tonsillar swelling, bacillus anthracis next. This particular uh, picture is it denotes malignant pustule, is it malignant or not? It has no malignancy uh, because of the angry look it is called as malignant uh, pustule. Gram stain appearance, gram positive bacilli, long chain, which appearance? Bamboo stick appearance, bamboo stick appearance. McFadden reaction, polychrome methylene blue stain. Okay. So, blue bacilli surrounded by amorphous purple capsule, blue bacilli surrounded by amorphous purple capsule of bacillus anthracis. This is a nutrient agar under microscope the colony will appear as medusa head colony, medusa head a colony. Anthrax on blood agar non hemolytic dry wrinkle colony and on gelatin stab agar inverted fir tree appearance colony. Inverted fir tree appearance colony. Okay. Next is clostridium. There are various arrangement of clostridial spores. Most of the clostridium the spore arrangement is subterminal. This is the most common form terminal and round give rise to drumstick appearance seen in clostridium titani, terminal and oval giving rise to tennis racket appearance, clostridium tertium, and central spore Example is Clostridium bifermentans, Clostridium bifermentans. Then, then Robertson cooked meat broth is the most common anaerobic medium. This is an uninoculated medium. They say that Clostridium perfringens being saccharolytic, it will turn the color of the meat to pink. In contrast, 
Plastidium titani being proteolytic, it will turn the color of the meat black, black and having a very putrid smell, offensive smell. Then Plastidium uh, perfinus manifestation, this uh, particular uh, picture is a a clinical case of gas gangrene, presence of bubbles in the muscle compartment and when you when you do a gram stain, if you get gram positive bacilli without spore having a, a typical box car shaped appearance, this give rise to the clinical suspicion that it could be clostridium perfringens because the gas gangrene strains of clostridium perfringens are non sporing they are non sporing and further confirmation can be done by performing a reverse cam test clostridium perfringens uh, confirmation uh, can be done by uh, performing a reverse cam test by observing target hemolysis or double zone hemolysis and the most important is positive Nagler reaction. Yeah, here it is the a positive Nagler reaction. Nagler reaction is nothing but you will have a opalescence on egg yolk agar. Opalescence on egg yolk agar, which is due to alpha toxin and which can be inhibited by adding anti alpha toxin clostridium uh, titani various clinical uh, manifestation opisthotonous position trismus and rises sardonicus Grimming movement of the facial muscles rises sardonicus, drumstick appearance spore, characteristic feature of prostidium titani, swarming on blood agar, prostidium titani typically it swarms on blood agar. This is pseudomembranous colitis. Agent is prostridium difficile. So, these are the pseudomembranes on the colonic uh, mucosa. Colonic mucosa presence of pseudomembrane, and this is the histopathological feature. Actinomyces again is gram positive branching gram positive bacilli, branching gram positive bacilli and they say that actinomyces can cause cervicofacial lesions, cervicofacial lesions. and this is nocardia. Nocardia is acid fast branching acid fast bacillus. Okay, partially acid fast, partially acid fast. 
mycobacterium tuberculosis this is the typical appearance on Zedenstein that is long slender beaded appearance and the next picture is oramin phenol stain fluorescent stain oramin phenol stain or oramin rhodamin stain the mycobacterium appears as fluorose brilliant green fluorose in color alga medium the description is rough tough and buff color colony mycobacterium lepra in bundles cigar like bundles of acid fast bacillus cigar like bundles of acid fast bacillus arranged in globi all these are globi actually arranged in globi okay so cigar like bundles of acid fast bacillus arranged in globi the globi are present inside a lipid macrophage and the lipid laden macrophage is called as virtuose lepra cell here of course the macrophage outline is not clear but globi the clumps of bacilli are clearly seen okay, so these are the various lesions produced in leprosy this is a case of lepromatous uh, leprosy whereas this is anesthetic lesion of tuberculate uh, leprosy the descriptions you can read from book these are the various deformities seen in leprosy okay corneal opacity okay nose deformity atrophy of digits finger deformities all these are seen in leprosy okay now i don't know whether it is how much this is useful because till now in the image based exam they have not asked the interpretation of biochemical reactions but at least broadly i will outline the three four important organisms like e coli uh, uh, clebsiella so that even if it is asked you should be in a position to answer okay so catalyst is i have already uh, told you if you add 3% of hydrogen uh, peroxide then effervescence will be there bubbles will be there if it is uh, positive and all enterobacteriaceae catalyst is positive all enterobacteriaceae are catalyst positive can you tell an any exception sigella dysentery type 1 which is catalyst negative okay oxidase if the test is oxidase are positive then the paper turns blue the filter paper turns blue okay indole test they say that a, if the test is uh, positive a cherry red color ring will be produced cherry red color ring will be uh, produced if it is uh, negative then no ring will be produced I mean, I mean a colorless ring, colorless or the color of the medium or uh, whatever ring will be uh, produced. Citrate, the original color of the medium is green, green is the original color of the medium, if positive it turns blue. Ureas, the original color of the medium is pale, if positive it turns pink this is very difficult to understand this is this medium this medium is called as TSI triple sugar triple sugar ion test ok triple sugar ion test they say that this uh, this is the picture of an unelocculated medium 
here why it is called as triple sugar ion test because here three sugars are there glucose sucrose and lactose glucose one part whereas sucrose and lactose are 10 parts more in amount okay so this is a uninoculated medium first a the a uh, picture is a uninoculated um, uh, medium it has a slant it has a butt both the slant and butt are pink in color the principle of this test is if the organism is growing in this medium fermenting some sugars then sugar fermentation leads to sugar fermentation leads to a production of acid and acid uh, uh, production makes the uh, uh, color yellow if su uh, if sugar is not produced then the pink color or the alkalinity will be maintained if no sugar or no sugar is fermented then the pink color or the alkalinity is maintained so one property you wa you want to test here whether the organism is fermenting sugars or not if fermenting uh, uh, sugars whether all three sugars are fermented or only glucose is fermented second property you are going to test here gas is producing or not if the organism is uh, producing gas then you then you will have the medium will be lifted the medium either will be lifted or maybe the medium will be broken into pieces break will be there in the medium third property is whether the organism is producing h2s or not if H2S is a produce, then the medium will become black. See it. The medium will become black. Fine. If you are done with this, I will tell you now which organism will produce what kind of reaction. The, the commonly isolated gram negative organisms, enterobacteriaceae organisms, are broadly categorized into non fermenter example is pseudomonas glucose only fermenter example is sigella salmonella proteus etc glucose i mean all fermenter the third group is all fermenter all uh, all fermenter is e coli and clepsila clear non fermenter group do not produce any acid because they don't ferment any sugar so the alkalinity is maintained that means slant is slant is alkaline but is alkaline okay we, we give a code of k for alkaline so k by k is the code and the pseudomonas do not produce gas do not produce h2s so k by a gas minus h2s minus is the result of pseudomonas all fermenter like e coli and clepsila when all these three sugars are fermented enormous acid will be produced so the entire medium will become acidic or alloys slant will become acidic but also will become acidic and we give a code of a for acidic so it is a by a and both e coli and clepsila they produce gas so number so b b is the a picture of both clepsila and e coli both clepsila and e coli they produce gas and they do not produce h2s they are gas plus but h2s minus clear 
then comes glucose only fermenter so glucose only fermenter gl uh, glucose is more in amount or uh, less in amount they are very less is uh, uh, less in amount so they say that only the but will be acidic like this only the but will be alloys slant will be alkali because only glucose is fermented so the reaction will be k by a reacts all sigala samanala protease everywhere the reaction will be k by a in sigala k by a gas minus h2s minus that is number c number c is for uh, sigala gas minus h2s minus protease k by a gas minus but h2s plus that is number e this is protease remember protease h2s production is so much that the entire butt will be look black so inside the alloys color will be there which will not be look to you only the outer black color will be seen in salmonella typhi salmonella typhi of course k by a there is no gas gas will be uh, minus h2s will be tiny t for typhi t for tiny tiny means only little bit h2s at the junction which one can you guess d little bit of h2s will be there in the junction this is salmonella typhi this is uh, sigala clear clear okay Identifying a feature of common gram-negative bacilli, E. coli. E. coli on McConkey medium will produce lactose fermenting pink colonies. But lactose fermenting pink colonies will also be produced by Klebsiella. Klebsiella also on McConkey the colonies are LF, but the Klebsiella colonies are mucoid LF. mucoid pink colonies come into the biochemical reaction e coli will be indole i i tells this four tests the abbreviation is i cut i cut stands for indole citrate urease tsi so the i cut uh, reading is in this context i want to tell you is previously we were using invict test invict stands for indole citrate mr and vp this was this were the biochemical reaction minimum biochemical reaction used in the past to identify organisms and later on we found that within this if you use this biochemical reactions all organisms may not be identified uh, properly so this imbic is outdated now we don't use imbic the minimum biochemical reaction what we put is been abbreviated as i cut indole citrate urease and tsi okay so e coli indole will be a positive citrate tell green color negative urease negative tsi a by a gas plus h2s minus okay klebsiella um, um, uh, mccomkey mucoid lf then i cut indole uh, positive citrate blue color blue color is a positive green is a negative urease pink color a positive tsi a by a gas plus h2s minus sorry indole uh, negative protease protease on blood agar 
Swarming will be there. Swarming will be there. I could indole is positive for vulgaris. In this case, it is uh, vulgaris, whereas indole is negative. Indole is negative for mirabilis. If it is the mirabilis, then the indole will be negative. Citrate green color uh, negative. Ureas pink color. A positive TSI K by A, though the yellow color is not seen, you have to consider that K by A gas minus H2S plus. Fine, then coming to Cerasia marcescens, it produces a red color pigment on sputum, and this red color pigment on sputum this is a normal flora of sputum. So, sometime it will appear as if pseudo hemoptysis. They say that it can uh, the uh, this uh, uh, this condition is called as pseudo hemoptysis. Yersinia pestis the causative agent of plague characterized by limpadanopathy, bubos will be enlarged and severe cases you will have gangrenous toes. Hence, plague was called as before as black death. Why? Because the severe infections gangrenous extremities will be there, black death. Diagnosis wise, you have to do vaccine stain, and where you can demonstrate bipolar staining. Bipolar staining you can uh, demonstrate. Of course, rat flea is the vector, rat flea is the vector. Vibrio cholera comma sept, fish in stream appearance, gram stain. This is TCBS, which color media? green colonies yellow because of fermentation of sucrose. Apart from that vibrio on blood agar you can see hemodigestion, hemodigestion the greenish discoloration on blood agar of vibrio is described as hemodigestion, vibrio string test will be positive. Pseudomonas erythrosa, do not forget what type of a pigment pyocyane blue green pigment. And one more feature is if, if you keep a TSI, then the reaction will be K by K alkaline by alkaline because it is a, it is a, it is a non fermenter. Burkhalderia is one more non fermenter which is bipolar stain, bipolar stain and as down medium is used, as a selective medium. Haemophilus influenza, gram stain it will produce pleomorphism. Various here we can see filamentous, then bacillus, then cocci, coco bacillus, various size and shape, pleomorphism it is called as. It shows satellitism. Satellitism is the colonies, the small small uh, colonies you can see surrounding staph aureus. Surrounding staph aureus, the small small colonies what is seen is described as satellitism. This is due to release of V factor, due to release of V factor from RBC by the hemolysis by staph aureus. Bordetella, you can see the toxic appearance of the child 
having whooping cough okay regal low medium you, you will get mercury drop colony beautiful colony and which is also, which is also called as bisected pearl appearance bisected pearl appearance and gram stain the feature is thumb print appearance the gram negative coco bacilli arranged in thumb print appearance ok syphilis primary syphilis is characterized by painful or, or painless painless genital ulcer indurated which is indurated hard painless genital ulcer secondary syphilis skin rashes mucosal patches and at mucocutaneous uh, junction condyloma lata and this is the various microscopic feature of trypanoma uh, uh, pallidum this is dark ground uh, microscopy this is fluorescent microscopy and this is silver staining method like fontana stain and levodidi stain this uh, particular uh, picture is fontana stain fontana stain and levodidi stain okay vdrl this is vdrl slide concavity slide and if the antigen antibody reaction occurs what you will get clumps will be produced under microscope you have to visualize the reaction under microscope borrelia borrelia burgdorferi or lyme's disease you can demonstrate the spirally coiled organism in blood smear and this particular uh, picture is the cutaneous manifestation of uh, borrelia erythema migrans erythema migrans which is the cutaneous annular lesion annular lesion seen in lyme stages as in this borrelia burg dor ferry leptospira hooked end umbrella shaped hooked end hooked end with increased number of spiral the number of spirals are maximum and hooked end umbrella shaped hooked end that is why it is called as interrogans why the species name they have given as interrogans interrogans means question mark it looks like a, a question mark where is manifestation of bartonellosis this is the lymphadenopathy seen in cat's crash disease this is the angiovascular lesion of bacillary angiomatosis and this is the nodular lesion called as veruga peruana and the agent cat scratch disease is uh, bartonella hensale bacillary angiomatosis also bartonella hensale followed by quintana veruga peruana bacillary i mean uh, bartonella bacilliformis okay then these are the inclusion bodies of chlamydia inclusion body of chlamydia this is fried egg colony where mycoplasma fried egg colony clues these are pathognomic of bacterial 
Bajanosis. This is uh, nothing but this is an epithelial cell. This, uh, this is a normal epithelial cell. Whereas this is an epithelial cell studded with organism. Clue cell. So H pylori, these are the lesions produced in H pylori, ulcerative lesion. And uh, you can go for histopathological stain to demonstrate the organism. This is Wardens Terry stain. This uh, particular stain is Wardens Terry stain to demonstrate black color organisms. Legionella, the culture medium of choice is BCYE medium. BCYE medium, buffered charcoal is a strut medium, and of course, grams and appearance will be again pleomorphic. Sometimes it is not seen in Ramstein. Of course, this is a culture smear, so it is seen. If it is a direct smear from sputum, then it may not be seen because it is poorly gram negative. Donovanosis. Yes, can anybody describe ulcer? Biffy red ulcer. Biffy red. Painful or painless? Painless ulcer. And this is Donovan body, this is very important, Donovan body, Donovan body is a big macrophage carrying uh, numerous bipolar stained organism, macrophage carrying bipolar stained organism, Donovan body, macrophage carrying bipolar stained organism. Okay, so, this is all about the images of virology section. Compared to bacteriology, virology will have less number of images, uh, many will be uh, clinical pictures also. Like for example, these are the vesicular lesions on lip and tongue due to herpes simplex virus, vesicular lesion on lip and tongue due to herpes simplex virus. So, herpes simplex the lesions are painful or painless? painful, mostly they are bilateral, they are vesicular, tiny, okay, painful ulcers. And this is Jang smear showing the many the they say the diffuse ballooning multinucleated GN cell multinucleated giant cell, diffuse ballooning of the cell, all these are the features of herpes seen under Jans, uh, Jansmere. Jansmere is a toluidin blue st staining of the scrapping of her herpetic lesions. These are the manifestations seen in chicken pox and small pox. This is the picture of chicken pox. This is the picture of severe picture of smallpox child. How they vary from each other? The rashes, uh, chicken pox, the rashes are face and flexor and they are superficial and you can see that various size shape that is multiple crops. Smallpox one stage evolution of all rashes and smallpox or asses are deep seated and E, E for extensor and extremity. Of course, this uh, particular uh, picture has, I mean this uh, particular patient has got rashes everywhere, so, uh, that is why even face also, but usually it start from extensor and extremities. This is the old I appearance inclusion body of where it is seen cytomegalovirus. The description is the inclusion body is both intranuclear and intracytoplasmic inclusion body, all psi appearance. These are the clinical uh, manifestations. Uh, this is hairy cell leukoplakia. 
seen in Epstein Barr virus. This is a Kaposi sarcoma a picture. Kaposi sarcoma, where it is seen? I mean, I mean it is caused by human herpes virus 8. This is slap cheek epinus seen in fifth disease caused by parvo virus. Okay, so these are the manifestations condyloma ecuminata caused by human papilloma virus. Okay, mucocutaneous junction you will have what like nodules, warty nodules. Warty uh, uh, lesions. Adenovirus, as I told, it is what shape? Space vehicle shape. Pox virus is brick shaped, but inside the pox virus, the uh, the capsid is arranged as dumbbell shaped. Dumbbell shaped capsid. Okay, this is again a very important a picture of pox virus. And this is the embryonated egg, and you can see that on chorioamniotic membrane of embryonated egg, these lesions are these white spots are pox lesions, and these pox lesions are uh, produced by which virus? Pox virus like vaccinia and variola. And this is molluscum contagiosum. This is molluscum body, histopathological uh, picture, inclusion body, which is also called as HP body, Hills uh, uh, Henderson uh, Patterson body. And these are the lesion of uh, molluscum uh, contagiosum. It, it is it is uh, uh, described as pinkish white warty nodule with a dimple at center, dimple at center. Okay. So, this is again a clinical micrograph uh, picture of mums having parotitis. These are the manifestations of measles measles rashes, coplic spot, bluish white spot and multinucleated giant cell of measles which are which are described as Wardin Finkel dye giant cell, Finkel dye giant cell. Okay. So, rubella manifestations, rashes, measles the rashes uh, what is the uh, peculiarity? Rashes appear first appear behind the ears. So, this is one important thing what you have to uh, remember. Rubella rashes will be there on day 1 and of course, this is the cataract seen in congenital rubella. These are the deformities seen in poliomyelitis patient, deformities. Bullet shaped, bullet shaped is rabies. This is negri body, negri body is intracytoplasmic inclusions seen in uh, this is a picture uh, this is a cross section of neuron showing this these structures are inclusion bodies uh, negri body seen in rabies okay this is a micrograph picture of hepatitis b virus hepatitis b exists in three form it exists as perical form tubular form and the complete hepatitis B uh, particles which are called as Dane particle and the spherical form is the most common form in the, in, in the serum. 
you can have a look here this is dane particle this is also one more dane particle this is spherical form and this is tubular form okay so three forms of hepatitis b complete particle is dane particle whereas most common form is spherical form this is structure of hiv we have already discussed two copies of single stranded rna okay this is p24 core protein these are the glycoprotein this is gp120 this is the pedicle that is gp41 and this is the lipid part of the envelope which is a fusion protein here gp gp41 is the fusion protein whereas gp120 is the main receptor okay so structure of hiv is again very important okay so these are the uh, some other electron microgram picture this is again bullet shaped rabies this is wheel shaped rotavirus this is again one more uh, picture of hepatitis b virus you can see tubular form and this is spherical form and this is dane particle all three forms are there this is ebola virus filamentous and this is corona virus having club shaped club or petal shaped peplomeres peplomere means spikes antigenic spikes on the uh, on the envelope petal or club shaped peplomeres corona virus of course one more picture of slab chick appearance caused by parvo virus this is all about biology pictures now we will discuss mycology pictures okay tinea versicolor tinea versicolor is characterized by hypo pigmented lesion and this both these pictures are hypo pigmented lesion and these two uh, picture demonstrate spaghetti yes and meatball appearance you can see here cluster of e cell and hypha both the forms are there spaghetti and meatball appearance these are the various manifestations of uh, dermatophytic infection this is tinea capitis this is a tinea barbi tinea inguinum okay so various dermatophytic infection these are the schematic diagram of the various macrosporidia and microsporidia you can have a look here these three are macroconidia of dermatophytes can you identify what is what this is pear shaped pear shaped i mean uh, pencil shaped ma uh, macroconidia so belongs to trichophyton this is spindle shaped macroconidia belongs to microsporum this is club shaped macroconidia belongs to epidermophytes these are the pear shaped microconidia of trichophyton trichophyton even plenty of microconidia also will be there okay so last three pictures all these are the various hyphal form hyphal forms seen in dermatophytic infection first two pictures are ectotrix and endotrix infection this is ectotrix this is endotrix what is the difference between ecto and endotrix ectotrix is spores are outside the head sac whereas endotrix spores and hypha all are present inside the 
rate soft yes so you can identify what is what this is trichophyton because pencil shaped macro uh, pencil shaped macroconidia and tear drop shaped microconidia this is microsporum because spindle shaped macroconidia this is epidermophyton because club shaped macro conidia then coming to this is the mycetoma having the swelling discharging uh, sinus and these are the histopathological slides of mycetoma you can see that sun rays appearance histopathological a picture of mycetoma this is porotrix this is the at 25 the yeast form that is flower like hypha i mean hypha with flower like sporulation hypha with flower like sporulous and at 37 it will produce porotrix will produce cigar shaped asteroid body cigar shaped asteroid body and this particular uh, picture is of rhinosporidium sperule rhino sporidium sperule this is nothing but a big sac like structure sporangium like like sac containing uh, uh, numerous endospores containing numerous endospores fine yes so this one the first and second are picture of histoplasma capsulate this is yeast form this is the yeast form you can see here these are the 2 to 5 2 to 4 micron yeast cell with narrow base budding that has to be differentiated from you can see here this is a picture of blastomyces this is blastomyces yeast form described as 8 to 4, 15 micron yeast cell with broad base body broad based body the second one is tuberculate macroconidia this is a this is a mold form of histoplasma tuberculate macroconidia mold form of histoplasma okay so now you can have a look here this is coccidiodes coccidiodes will have two forms sterule and barrel shaped arthroconidia barrel shaped arthroconidia so this is a schematic diagram of sperule and arthroconidia and the right side the histopathological diagrams are there the down two pictures are paracoccidiodes the yeast form the mother yeast cell and daughter yeast cells are of different size that give rise to mickey mouse appearance i mean uh, this one is mickey mouse appearance and this is pilot wheel appearance <coughs> pilot wheel appearance pictures of candida candida east or east like 
is like because you can see here pseudo hyperda on sda creamy white colony and this is the clinical manifestation oral thrush you will have white is membrane this is onychomycosis caused by candida onychomycosis onychomycosis this is zamtutes also called as renal brown phenomena so germ tubes will be arising from individual cells indicates candida albicans so this is what they say is the culture of uh, candida if you add serum and you incubate for 2 hours then from individual budding cell germ tubes will arise so this is positive for candida albicans germ tube test candida albicans can also produce beautiful chlamydospore on corn meal agar this also a, a feature of uh, candida albicans chlamydospore on corn meal agar these are the pictures of cryptococcus SDA mucoid cremoid colony because it is capsulated and the india ink demonstrate refractile capsule surrounding the cell very clear a refractile delineated capsule surrounding the budding cell these are the manifestations of zygomycosis in the form of orbital cellulitis uh, this one is orbital cellulitis whereas the second one is proptosis orbital cellulitis and as i told you the three important members of zygomycetes can be differentiated based on the position of rhizoid in rhizopus the rhizoid is nodal rhizoid is nodal whereas in apsidia the rhizoid is internodal whereas in mucor there is no rhizoid and of course so this is a diagram you can have a look you can see nodal rhizoid indicates rhizopus whereas the this one there is no rhizoid indicate mucor sda colony is described as cotton uli colony with black spots form later giving rise to salt and pepper appearance cotton uli colony with black spots on which are formed later giving rise to salt and pepper appearance okay aspergillus aspergillus they say that all the three species of aspergillus can be differentiated based on this following of finding they say that aspergillus any aspergillus will have septate hypha septate and thin hypha please have a look from septate hypha conidiophore will be arising okay conidiophore leads to a structure called as vesicle and the first picture is aspergillus fumigatus second is flabus third is niger so please have a look vesicle of aspergillus fumigatus is tubular
वेर इज वेसाइकल ऑफ बोथ नाइगर एंड फ्लावर्स इज ग्लोबुलर एंड फ्रॉम वेसाइकल द फर्स्ट रो ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स आर कॉल्ड एज फियालाइट फ्रॉम द वेसाइकल फियालाइट विल अराइज एंड ईच फियालाइट गिव राइज टू कॉनिडिया चेन ऑफ कॉनिडिया and fumigatus the conidia as well as the fialite they are there only in the upper two third or one third it is not there in the whole uh, vesicle in contrast both flabus and niger you can see that the fialites are present all around from which the chain of conidia also will be arising all around same for niger also niger the only difference is the conidia are black in color okay but in exam they will not give you schematic diagram they will give you real diagram and you have to identify so now please have a look uh, in this context i will tell you the colony wise sda colony differences also sd colony of aspergillus fumigatus is smoky green flabus will be yellow is green of course niger very easy to identify black okay can you tell me what is what this is what niger over one is over this and this this is what this is what first one is fumigatus very good upper one third where is this is labus fine and his last pic, uh, picture is about gomeris methinamin silver stain gomeris methinamin silver nitrate stain and this is used for demonstration of nemocystis zero bc cyst of nemo cystis zero bc the black color cyst of nemo cystis zero bc okay so gms stain is used gms stands for gomeris methinamin silver nitrate stain okay so now we will discuss parasitology images okay so let us discuss the schematic diagrams then i will show you the real diagrams so differences between entamoeba histolytica and entamoeba coli entamoeba histolytica trophozoite the pseudopodium is finger like this is the in between stage called as pre cyst and all these are cyst and the cyst will have the mature cyst will have four nuclei immature cyst will have either one or two nuclei but immature cyst will have additional structure like glycogen mass and chromatic body this glycogen mass and chromatic body are additional structures which will be there in immature cyst but this will not be there in mature cyst 
okay in compare e coli the pseudopodia is blunt and this is pre cyst in between all these are cyst mature cyst will have 8 nuclei immature cyst will have in between and immature cyst will have glycogen mass and chromatid body but the identifying feature is chromatid body is filamentous filamentous like this i will show you the chromatid body again you just have a look the chromatid body of entamoeba histolytica entamoeba histolytica the chromatid body is like this rounded whereas here the e coli the chromatid body is filamentous and try to look the individual nucleus individual nucleus you can have a look here entamoeba histolytica the individual nucleus peripheral chromatin is fine fine peripheral chromatin and the karyosome center central karyosome in compare to this here the peripheral chromatin is coarse and the karyosome is eccentric fine again schematic diagram they will not give so identify now what is what this is finger like or blunt finger like so trophozoite of entamoeba histolytica this is blunt so trophozoite of entamoeba coli you see the cyst here you see the cyst here which is larger this one and more number eight, around 8 nucleus are there so this is e coli cyst this is entamoeba histolytica cyst the size also e coli is bigger than histolytica okay these are the schematic diagrams of nigleria and acanthamoeba as i told you nigleria will have three forms trophozoite cyst and a flagellated form acanthamoeba will have two forms it has a trophozoite having thorn like acanthopodia thorn like pseudopodia called as acanthopodia and also it has a cyst which has a i mean it is a double walled cyst the outer wall is wrinkle outer wall is wrinkle now identify the real images this is acanthopodia so acanthamoeba trophozoites you can see here thorn like pseudopodias are there this is cyst of acanthamoeba outer wrinkle wall this is flagellated form of nigleria this is trophozoid of nigleria okay so this is how you will try to identify giardia giardia i have already told eight or four pair of flagella two nucleus and two sucking disc whereas lateral view is it looks like spoon shaped spoon shaped on lateral view and cyst so the, this is trophozoite this is also a, a trophozoite this is cyst cyst has got four uh, uh, nucleus and it is oval having a central exoneme identify what is what this is giardia trophozoite front view this is giardia trophozoite lateral view all these the, all these are cyst this is trichome stain this is iodine stain this is saline mount i mean uh, saline mount iodine mount and this is trichome stain trichomonas trichomonas 4 plus 1 flagella okay and undulating membrane the 
posterior flagella traverses as undulating membrane. How many nucleus? One nucleus, single nucleus. Okay, so these are the four morphological form of Lismania and Trypanosoma. A mastigoid form, pro mastigoid form, epimastigoid form, and tripomastigoid form. So please have a look, Lismania. This is LD body, that is a macrophase uh, containing A mastigoid forms. Whereas these are pro mastigoid form of Lismanias. The LD bodies are seen in smear as uh, the diagnostic form. Whereas the pro mastigoid forms are seen in culture. Culture means triple N medium. This is the Tripomastigate form of trypanosoma. Tripomastigate form of trypanosoma cruzi. Okay. These are coccidian parasites. Size wise, cryptosporidium is 4 to 6 uh, micron. I, uh, cyclospora is 8 to 10 micron and isospora is 20 to 30 micron and it is oval. Cyclospora is variable acid fast, you can see some are there which are not a acid fast, it is variably acid fast. So, based upon the size and shape you can identify. Is it is cryptosporidium, cyclospora, or isospora? This is toxoplasma, tachyzoids in blood, and bradyzoids. I mean, this is a tissue cyst uh, uh, containing bradyzoids. So, which is active infection, which is dormant stays, tachyzoid active infection, bradyzoid dormant stays. Okay, the most important the various malaria parasites, we have already discussed all this, the Vibex will have a large ring form and a large RBC. And the late trophozoid of Vivex is amoeboid shaped, whereas falciparum ring form are three types E. coli form, double dot ring form, multiple ring form. Malaria to a late trophozoid of malaria will be having black band form, oval the margin is imbrinated fimbrinated RBC and RBC is oval in shape. You can see here everywhere RBC is round whereas all oval RBCs are oval in shape. Side joint, how many number of mirrorjoids are there inside? Vibex and falciparum 12 to uh, 24, uh, malaria around 18 number, oval also 18 number. Gametocytes Falciparum the with the gametocyte is banana shaped, whereas non PF the gametocyte is round and the female gametocytes are dark blue, whereas male gametocytes are light blue. And regarding falciparum, they say that female gametocytes are having pointed and and there is male gametocytes are having blunt end. Okay. Okay. So these are the two peripheral blood smear, thin smear, and thick smear. Thick smear is more sensitive, a pigmentation, as well as quantification. 
thin smear for PCS. Okay, can you identify some of the malaria uh, parasites in this picture? Here you can have, you can see that it is a peripheral blood smear. A coliform is there, multiple ring form is there. So it is Plasmodium falciparum. Here also you can have a look, double dot ring form, double dot ring form. This is a coliform. Again, Plasmodium falciparum. Banana shaped gametocyte again plasmodium falciparum this is enlarged rbc with enlarged ring form this is a uh, this is a normal rbc this is enlarged rbc and uh, it has a big ring form also and round gametocyte and cyjon has around 22 24 mirozoids so, all these features are suggestive of Vibex because size on so many mirozoids will be there only in Vibex or falciparum. Falciparum size joints are never seen in peripheral blood, hence, it is Vibex. Band form malaria, oval and irregular RBC, oval. Okay, so this is again peripheral. I mean, it is QBC. It is quantitative Buffy code examination. You take in a, in a capillary tube the blood, and you and you centrifuge so that the blood will be uh, separated along the density. And this is a Buffy code area, the junction of WBC and RBC. This is the area which you are going to screen, Buffy code area. Okay, Helminth is the normal structure uh, the normal egg of any cystode any cystode egg will have a egg shell and they have three pair of hooklets three pair of hooklets except diphalobotrium latum which has a operculated egg and h nana H nana the eggs are bile non stain and they have a polar filaments in between the membranes. Here you can see here light light polar filaments are there here. In between the two shell polar filaments are present. This is a picture of this is a, this is a feature of H nana. Okay. Okay, how can you differentiate tinea sajanata and tinea solium? T I mean, as the adult worm, the adult worm of tinea sajanata and tinea solium. They say that tinea solium is called as arm tapeworm. Why? Because it will have hooklets on its head, which are absent in tinea sajanat no hooklets okay otherwise the number of suck suckers are same four number of suckers will be there in each so by which you cannot uh, differentiate and of course globular head head will be globular for solium whereas quadrangular head for sajanat So, these are the difference between solium and sajanata. Okay, have a look. This is cysticercosis. The various cysts isolated from specimen. And this is a hydrated cyst specimen, gross specimen. And the hydrated cyst specimen, if you do a cross section and focus microscopy, then you can what you can see is cyst wall, trilayed cyst wall will be there. And from the cyst wall, what will be arising is these are the brood capsule, 
brood capsules will be attached to the cyst worm. So, this uh, particular picture has come in May in uh, November Ames 2015. Okay. Then coming to trematodes. Trematodes how to differentiate the eggs? Cystosoma all cystosoma are non operculated egg, non operculated egg instead of operculum they have a spine, spine in Mansoni is lateral spine, hematobium is having terminal spine, where japonicum rudimentary lateral spine. Whereas, rest all trematodes they will have operculated egg and of course, opisthorchis and clonorchis, clonorchis will have of course, operculated and plus shaped egg, operculated and plus shaped egg. And uh, these are the description of X of nematodes. Let us discuss uh, one by one. First one is trichuris egg, barrel shaped, and mucus plug. Second one is entrobius egg. Plano, con plano convex egg and bile non stain. Next is hookworm egg, again oval having segmented ovum, four segments of ovum and bile non stain, they are colorless. Okay. Here only two. two X are colorless, hookworm and entrobius. Next two are Ascaris egg. Left one is fertilized, right one is unfertilized. Fertilized egg is oval and having thick albumin coat. Whereas right one is rectangular. And elongated, and albumin coat is very thin or lost, and both are bistain. Both are bistain. Even trichuris also is brown in color, bistain. The last picture is the L1 or the rhabdidiform larva of Strongyloides. L1 or the Rhabdidi form larva of Strongyloides. Okay. So next, I will tell you the differences between Ucheria bancrofti and Brugia malai as far as the microfilaria is concerned. How many differences are there? The most important difference is tail end. Tail end of Ucheria bancrofti having no nuclei in the tail tip and the tail tip is pointed. In contrast, Brugia malai will have 4 to 5 nuclei in the tail region and the tail is blunt, blunt tail tip. Okay. So, uh, I will show you the schema, I mean the real diagram so that you can have a look. These are the two images. You can see here, here the tail tip is pointed and no nuclei. So, this is Ucheridia, Ucheridia bankrupt. Here the tail tip is blunt and the nuclei are present. So, it is Brugia malai. Okay, so, with this the image based MCQs are also over all the best.